Hi everybody. I think I have myself sitting where I need to be because I have my um, one camera that doesn't have very good light, low light kind of thing. It just always looks cloudy. It's the camera. It just is what it is. Um, I have a little shopping haul. I went to Walmart um, looking for specific items because A, I'm not <coughs> and I'm out of breath. Um, because I'm not eating very much right now. And my blood sugar has been really kind of weird. Um, and there were some things on the clearance aisle I wanted to pick up. And, uh, so I picked them up. And, uh, I have trash from my car. I tossed in that bag, so I wanted to get my stuff out of it. Um... So this is going to be just a little bitty short video, and um, I'm going to try not to edit it, but, um, so I got a few things on clearance, and I just kind of wanted to show you, and um, keep an eye on their clearance things, because things are still popping in that especially school supplies that weren't clearance before, popping in down the clearance. But um, I almost picked up something I thought was like, really markers, a whole big package of Sharpies for two bucks. But the way they had the pricing on it, it was actually 12, but it was actually it was supposed to be like two, I thought it said 250, but it was where the one was you couldn't see the one. You just seen the 250. So our Walmart took out all the self-scanner things so you can check your prices. So you can't check and verify prices before you get to the register. And I think that's wrong because by the time you get to the register, they're scanning so fast that you don't have a chance half the time to watch um, and make sure what the prices are as they're scanning and our walmart the little the little square part that tells you what your total and stuff is no longer shows you the price of the item as it's scanning you have to watch that little gray box and usually it's turned so you can't see it unless you're standing way over there which I don't like. I want to see what everything is as it's being scanned to check the prices. Because a lot of times, guys, that's how they get you on stuff that you think is one price. And you get out of the store, wow, that was an awful lot. And you're looking at your slip and you're saying something's not what you thought it was or what the price is on this. And then you have to go back in and argue or whatever and try to get your money back or you just say it's not worth my time and lose a dollar or whatever it is you lost um, so I think them taking the the scanny things so that you can check your prices is a, I think they did it on purpose I'm I'm sorry I just do so I'm going to cover the um, those things later. Um, when I have a flare with gastroparesis, I cannot eat solid foods. And that's probably why I have a flare is I've been eating too many solid foods. And the farther along the disease gets, the less solid foods I can eat, meaning meats, things that aren't like I can eat. Normally hamburger with no problem, but during a flare, I can't even eat hamburger. So I have to stay away from that for a while. Um, so right now I'm depending on a lot of mashed potatoes. Usually instant potatoes whipped uh, and thin. And I mean thin. Um, the last meat I had, believe it or not, was the meatloaf a week ago. And I'm still not over the flare. And... My go-to is gravy and mashed potatoes. And um, my blood sugar has been all over the board. I'm afraid to take my second blood sugar pill because if I do, then my blood sugar crashes like immediately. 
like no warning. So having gastroparesis, it's very hard to control your blood sugar. And a lot of people don't understand that. I drink soda because the carbonated soda and something about diet soda, the carbonation in it just does not help relieve you of the built up gases that's in your stomach. It just, it just doesn't. But my blood sugar is so weird that one soda, I don't even drink the whole bottle, <laughs> honestly. It lasts me all day so one soda does not affect my sugar um, but the carbonation I needed to get that built-up gas out of my stomach um, to relieve some of the pressure and the pain and when you're in a flare let's just say I don't function well so my go-to is um, mashed potatoes with brown gravy on it or white gravy um i can't even eat eggs during a flare because they're too heavy in your stomach so that's what i live on and another thing i live on is puddings applesauce um <coughs> sometimes jello um and these little cakes, this is on clearance. These are kind of like a pudding kind of thing. This is that um, French style um, cheesecake thing. This sets good on my stomach. And everybody's different, guys. Everybody is different. Um, what I can eat, somebody else can't. What they can eat, I can't. Um, some people can drink water. I can't. Um, water is... For most people, a gastroparesis water is painful to drink. I can manage about four ounces of water a day, and that's even sipping water. Um, some people can't touch it at all. Some people can drink water and be fine. Um, some people can drink milk. I can drink limited amounts of milk, but I can't cook milk. Like making scrambled eggs and putting milk in it and scrambling it, it bothers me. But if I make scrambled eggs and leave the milk out, I'm okay. Um, it, it's odd, but yeah, I can eat. Um, and, and it's got to be a combination. I, it's hard to figure out what you can eat, what you can't. It's a horrible disease. And it just, it's destructive to your life, honestly. Um, it's hard to work with, it's hard to deal with, it's hard to explain to people why you can't eat, why, why even though you say you can't eat, you're big, it's because all that food sets in there and you can't get rid of it because your stomach doesn't process it. It just is. So, I'm looking it up online. I'd like to throw that pamphlet in somebody's face. Because, trust me, they don't know what they're talking about. The other thing I bought is creamer. I'm going to do a video um, taste testing. This is $3.48. The other brand this is the Coffee Mate, the, um, uh, what is it, International, whatever, something, is $2.68. I'm going to see which one of these is better. If this is really worth $0.80 cents more for this flavor, this brand of the pumpkin spice, we're going to try it. So, let's look at these. Up. Oh. I also got, and I did not buy all of them because I'm not like that. My favorite drink, this is zero calorie. Um, it does not have all the garbage in it. doesn't have the carbs in it that a lot of drinks have. This is one thing that I can enjoy 
as a diabetic, and it doesn't raise my blood sugar. Zero calorie peach tea. I'm in heaven. I got two of them, guys. I left one on the shelf. Usually, I don't get to get any, so now I'm back up to having, I'll have five put up and one open. So I'm a little happier because they are hard to come by. Clearance items. I got a two-pack of these uni, uni, Uniball pens. They're black. Um, they're the Vision ones. These are awesome. I'm not looking straight at the camera because that light is in my eyeballs. Um, so these are really good. They were $2.50 for the two-pack. These are expensive pens, but they write really nice. I also got, for $0.58, cents, the little tea lights of the, um, what do you call these? Citronella tea lights. Now, we're not supposed to have citronella candles outside, but these are just little tea lights, and they will be out there while I'm out there. Not like a whole big citronella candle that burns for hours and hours. This will burn while I'm out there and be gone before I come back in. Or I'll just blow it out and bring it in. <coughs> Take a breath, Laura. Bring it in with me. So that's cool. There was a bunch of these. I probably should have picked up another pack, but, you know, it's fall. 58 cents. I bought a pack. The other thing I bought, I did get mechanical pencils. Rainbow package of mechanical pencils for just 2 Dollars and yes, they were actually two bucks. This is a pack of um, there's three leads in each pencil, 50 mechanical pencils, and they're number twos. And they have the seven mil. Um, I can't read it because the light's been in my eyeballs, but. I got a package of pencils. Um, I probably should have gone and gotten a couple, the, a couple more and just divided them up among kids for the Christmas thing. But I'm always looking for mechanical pencils for things that I do. And frankly, I'm out. <laughs> I've used all mine up. Um, I actually love to use these. So... I was in need of some, and gosh, they're so expensive anymore that I haven't bought any. But here it is. I bought some. So that's what I bought. Um, rainbow mechanical pencils. It makes you smile. Um, so that's what I did, guys. I got me some, a few things. It's not a big haul, but I did want to come on and explain a little bit about what's going on with my health because... I know a lot of people don't understand why I say I haven't felt good. Um, and when you don't, your whole entire belly hurts and you can't even bend over. Or, you know, you sit down, you have to sit like you're nine months pregnant and it hurts to move. Um, picture it like that. So that's why I wanted to come on and, and show this little haul and explain to you what's going on because it's kind of affecting my channel. It's, it's definitely affecting me. I haven't felt good. I need to get myself something to eat this morning. I'm a little running down on energy this morning already. Um, but I'm going to get my backside up off this floor turn that camera off because that light is right in my eyeballs and um get some stuff done because man I've, I've fallen behind it's october 15th i believe I believe is today the fifth? yes today's the 15th and we're halfway through the month and um can't believe we're halfway through the month already guys so everyone I want everybody to have a most wonderful day take care um and just go out there 
do your thing, be kind, be generous. Remember that everybody has their own thing going on in life. And if you um, open your hearts up to people instead of putting people down, then you will realize that you will have that come back to you also. So no matter what's going on in your life, smile and give sunshine to other people and you'll get the same back. Everybody, I love y'all. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.